The American service members wounded in the bombing outside the airport have been flown to Ramstein Air Base in Germany. ABC's Will Reeve is there with the latest on the injured. Will, good morning. Janae, ABC News has learned that within minutes of Thursday's attack at the airport in Kabul, U.S. C-17s were on their way from here with medical supplies, other life-saving equipment. At a briefing at the Pentagon on Friday, General Hank Taylor said that two flights landed here Friday carrying our wounded personnel and they had been transferred to Launchstool Regional Medical Center to receive care. Now, an Air Force spokesman tells me here at the base there is a strategic pause in terms of flights coming in, but they have processed many, many people. More than 20,000 evacuees have come through here to Ramstein Air Base, and more than 5,000 evacuees have departed on 22 flights. Asylum seekers here, such as former U.S. local staff in Afghanistan and their families, they're leaving their homeland for fear of the Taliban. They're initially accommodated in tents and aircraft hangars here at the base. They will be registered, medically treated if necessary. So again, those U.S. personnel who have been wounded, we can't learn much more about them, but we know that those who did come here on those two flights landed and were taken to receive care right next to the base. The base is on a strategic pause as they try to process the sheer number of evacuees coming in from Afghanistan as the Taliban has taken Kabul and in the aftermath of that deadly attack at the airport on Thursday. Eva? Well, read for us there.